Make sure the stem is facing forward. Note, you might need to turn the fork around. To install the handlebars, start by using the provided 6mm Allen wrench to loosen the four bolts and remove the stem faceplate. Next, align the center of the handlebar in the stem. Reinstall the stem faceplate and four bolts by hand before using the 6mm Allen wrench to tighten the bolts. Be sure to evenly tighten each bolt a little at a time to evenly space between the top and the bottom. The bolts should be tightened to 10 to 12 newton meters. Prior to installing the front wheel, Use the provided 15mm wrench to loosen and remove the two nuts securing the spacer to the fork. Discard the spacer and nuts. Next, remove the nut and washer from each side of the front wheel. Align the front wheel so that the fork dropouts rest on the axle and the wheel is centered. Before tightening, be sure to push down on the handlebar to ensure the wheel is fully seated in the dropouts and there's no gap between the top of the axle and the fork. Place the washer over the threaded ends of the front wheel hub. Insert the bent tab into the hole on the dropouts. Use the 15mm wrench to tighten the nuts on either side of the axle to 28 to 32 newton meters. Prior to installing the training wheels, you will need to remove the outermost nut on each side of the rear axle. Save these nuts in case you ever wish to use the bike without training wheels. To install the training wheels, place the training wheel arm over each silver alignment feature that's on the axle, followed by the lock knob. Fully tighten the knobs to secure the training wheel arms making sure the wheel is approximately a quarter inch off the ground. To install the saddle, insert the seat post into the seat tube. Position the seat post at an appropriate height for the ride. See the owner's manual for reference on seat height. In general, your leg should be almost fully extended with a slight bend in the knee when the pedal is in the furthest down position. Finally, tighten the seat clamp to eight to 12 Newton meters. Prior to installing the pedals, start by identifying the left and right pedals. Each pedal is specified with its respective sticker. Additionally, the shaft of the left pedal has notches while the right does not. Install the right pedal to the right hand crank arm by turning the axle clockwise by hand.
Install the left pedal to the left hand crank arm. Note this pedal is tightened in the opposite direction of the right pedal and must be turned counterclockwise. Use the provided 15 mm wrench to tighten each pedal onto the crank arm to 35 to 40 newton meters. To install the reflectors, start by using a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screw from each reflector. Mount the white reflector to the front of the handlebar. Tighten the screw to secure the reflector. Mount the red reflector to the back of the seat post. Please note, the face of the reflector should be facing directly backwards, not tilted downwards. Tighten the screw to secure the reflector. You are now ready to roll.